In this lesson, we're going to go over the auxiliary power unit, description, and data, and define the maintenance procedures for it. We'll be back in IADS in the EM0284, TM115-2280, dash 23 and P. When we're here, you'll open up airframe maintenance procedures to description and data, and then to auxiliary power plant system. The auxiliary power unit model 116305-302 is one of two different APUs that may be installed on the UH-60 Mike aircraft. Any aircraft can have either APU installed. Therefore, you should be familiar with both APUs and their different references. APU model 3800480-1 and dash 2 will not be discussed in this training. The auxiliary power unit system consists of the APU, accessories, controls, a monitoring system, and a starting system. The system provides pneumatic power for main engine starting and cabin heating, electrical and hydraulic power for ground operations, and in-flight emergency electrical power. For main engine starting and cabin heating, compressor bleed air from the APU can provide the air pressure needed to operate the engine air turbine starters. The heating system functions from bleed air supplied by the main engines under flight conditions or the APU during ground operations. For electrical and hydraulic power on ground operation, the APU drives the APU generator. The APU generator provides aircraft AC electrical power before the engines and the main generators are operating. The AC electric motor that drives the backup hydraulic pump can be powered by the APU generator, which allows the backup pump to provide hydraulic power before the number one and number two pumps are operating. In-flight emergency electrical power. If the main generators fail in flight, the APU can be started and the APU generator turned on to provide emergency AC electrical power. The APU consists of a gas turbine power section, reduction gear drive, and appropriate controls and accessories. The gas turbine power section is a simple centrifugal compressor and a single stage radial inflow turbine. The centrifugal compressor and turbine are mounted back to back on the end of a high speed shaft. Air passing through the inlet screen and over the bearings to the compressor prolongs bearing and lubricant life. Turbine furnished power drives the compressor and the high speed output shaft. The combustor is an annular type with an internal liner and six air autonomizing fuel injector nozzles. The combustor is mounted onto the turbine housing and has on its periphery a compressor discharge plenum chamber. Ignition is furnished by a separate pressure autonomizing fuel nozzle and igniter plug. The igniter plug, fuel nozzle, and main fuel manifolds are installed in the combustion chamber. The thermocouple is located in the APU exhaust and measures exhaust gas temperature, EGT. A high-speed pinion gear and shaft connected to the main rotor shaft provides the input to the reduction gear drive. The pinion is supported by three planetary gears. An internal gear ring installed around the three planetary gears reduces turbine shaft speed from 61565 RPMs to 12000 RPMs at the actual pad, which also provides a mounting pad for the APU generator. A set of gears extending from the output shaft are used to drive the fuel pump and accelerator and the APU starter mounted on the accessory pads at 4235 and 8229 RPM respectively. Other reduction gears drive the lube pump. The fuels system consists of a fuel pump and a control assembly. The fuel pump is protected by a 10 micron inlet filter. The control assembly is protected by a 25 micron filter. A hydromechanical governor and metering valve control fuel flow to the engine during ignition and once it has accelerated to operating speed. Fuel filter. Fuel from the aircraft system is supplied to the inlet of a disposable 10 micron fuel filter. Fuel pump. The fuel pump is a positive displacement gear type pump. A wire mesh 25 micron filter is installed in the top of the pump housing. Acceleration control. The acceleration control assembly is mounted on and shaft coupled to the fuel pump. The acceleration control meters the amount of fuel supplied to the start fuel nozzle and main fuel manifold. PC air to acceleration control. Compressor discharge pressure, PCD, is supplied to the differential pressure regulation valve of the acceleration control. PCD increases as the speed of the APU increases. 
As the PCD increases, the fuel metering valve in the acceleration control opens. This results in the additional fuel flow to the turbine. Start fuel valve. The start fuel valve is a solenoid activated valve. The valve is normally closed and is energized by a signal from the electronic sequence unit, the ESU. At 5% speed, the start fuel valve opens to allow fuel flow to the start fuel nozzle. Restrictor. The restrictor controls the amount of airflow that purges fuel from the start fuel nozzle. Start fuel nozzle. Fuel is sprayed into the combustor and is ignited by an ignition plug. Main fuel valve. The main fuel valve is a solenoid activated valve. The valve is normally closed and is energized by a signal from the electronic sequencing unit, the ESU. At 14% speed, the main fuel valve opens to allow fuel flow to the six fuel nozzles. Fuel nozzle. The six fuel nozzles are mounted in bosses on the combustor assembly. These six fuel nozzles are connected to form the fuel manifold assembly. Combustor drain valve. The check valve, spring-loaded open, opens when the APU is shut down and drains unburned fuel from the combustor. The purge valve. In the purge position allows compressor discharge PCD airflow through the start fuel nozzle to clear nozzle of residual fuel. Filter to pump inlet tube. Connects the fuel filter to the fuel pump inlet. Max fuel tube. Connects the acceleration control to the max fuel valve. Start fuel tube. Connects acceleration control to the start fuel valve. Main fuel tube. Connects acceleration control to the main fuel valve. Fuel tube bundle. Connects start fuel valve assembly to purge valve. Fuel tube bundle. Connects main fuel valve assembly to main manifold fuel nozzles. Purge valve to start fuel nozzle tube. Connects purge valve to start fuel nozzle. Max fuel valve. The max fuel valve is a solenoid operated valve. The valve is normally closed and is energized by a signal from the electronic sequencing unit, ESU. At 90% rated speed, plus 1.5 seconds, the max fuel valve opens to allow on-demand fuel flow to the main fuel manifold. For the lubrication system, the APU is lubricated by a self-contained oil system. The oil reservoir. The oil reservoir is a part of the reduction drive assembly. A magnetic drain plug, high oil temperature switch, and oil and drain plug are located at the base and the bottom of the oil reservoir. Oil pump. The oil pump is part of the reduction drive assembly. The oil pump draws oil from the oil reservoir and pumps oil through drilled passages in the oil filter. The oil filter is a disposable 10 micron filter element contained in a filter cavity in the reduction drive assembly. The filter bypass valve consists of a spring-loaded ball in a housing above the oil filter. The housing serves as a cap for the filter. The bypass valve opens to allow oil to bypass the oil filter should the oil filter become clogged. Oil pressure relief valve is located in the main oil gallery. The oil pressure relief valve regulates systems oil pressures between 15 and 40 psi. Oil pump drive gear is driven by the output shaft. The turbine assembly input pinion drives the oil pump. The oil filter tube and dipstick assembly. The combined oil dipstick and cap is mounted on the left side of the reduction drive assembly. The oil dipstick and cap is used to check the oil level and service sump. Magnetic chip detector and plug is a two-part plug on gas turbine engines T62, T41. It is mounted in the front end of the reduction drive assembly. On gas turbine engines T62, T41D, it is mounted in the bottom end of the reduction drive assembly. The magnetic chip detector and plug is used to collect metal chips. For gas turbine engines T62, T41D, it is used to drain the oil. Drain plug. On gas turbine engine T62, T40-1, the drain plug is located at the bottom of the reduction drive assembly. The drain plug is used to drain the oil. High oil temp switch is located in the reduction drive assembly. It is electrically connected to the ESU. The ESU monitors the oil temperature and the high oil temperature switch activates a cockpit indicator when the temperature exceeds a preset limit. The ESU will not shut down the APU if the oil temperature is too high. The oil pressure switch is located in the reduction drive assembly and is electrically connected to the ESU. 
The ESU monitors the oil pressure by a signal sent by the oil pressure switch. The ESU shuts down the APU if the pressure drops too low. The electrical system for the APU provides automatic actuation and proper sequence of the circuits which control the APU starting, ignition, acceleration, fuel flow, and monitoring. Components of the electrical system include the magnetic pickup, electrical harnesses, ignition exciter, ignition cable, spark plug, and thermocouple and meter assembly. The magnetic pickup provides speed signals to the electronic sequence unit ESU in the aircraft. Electrical harness. A single harness connects all electrical components of the APU to the main electrical connector. Connections to the aircraft electrical system is through this main electrical connector to the harness. Ignition exciter. The ignition exciter is a capacitor discharge type. The exciter converts direct volts input to a high potential alternating voltage for ignition. Ignition cable. The ignition cable connects the ignition system to the igniter plug. Igniter plug. A shunted gap type igniter plug provides the igniter for initial ignition of fuel during the start of the APU. A single element chromal alumal thermocouple is part of the electrical harness. The thermocouple senses exhaust gas temperatures, EGT, and provides the signal to the ESU. The output signal is used by the ESU for over temperature protection, shutting down the APU if EGT exceeds safe limits. Meter assembly provides accurate tracking of the APU operational hours and number of starts for purposes of maintenance, inspection, and warranty coverage. The ESU, the electronic sequence unit in the cabin overhead, is the control element for the APU. It contains a microprocessor and conditioning circuits. The ESU monitors speed and temperature and output signals to control APU functions. Four built-in test indicators on the ESU provide fault detection information for troubleshooting the APU. The ESU shuts down the APU when monitored values exceed established operating parameters. Turbine overspeed, underspeed, high exhaust temperature, low oil pressure, loss of electrical power, or improper start sequence. The electrical sequence unit system status is indicated by upper console capsules, pilots and co-pilots inboard MFD legends, and by the four built-in test equipment indicator. The indicators cycle from black to white in various combinations to indicate the APU status and fault isolation. Two categories of codes are displayed, normal sequence required during APU start sequence and normal and failure indicators associated with operation. Decals on the side of the ESU decode the bit indicators and provide information related to APU operation. The bit indicators are electrically operated and magnetically latched to retain coded indications after electrical power has been removed if the APU shuts down automatically and the number one battery or APU control switch are cycled, the byte indicators will be cleared.